Hey guys, this is Wardiff here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat Evolution for a 7 to 10 race one of three in the round of eight. We're going to uh, Martinsville today. Last race was a Talladega, and it was kind of a shit show. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was um, just a lot of it was just me being by myself, um, cautious not coming out when they should, and uh, I got 19th. But I mean, we already got the win at Charlotte, so we really didn't have to worry about finishing well because we already advanced. But now it's a whole new round. And everything's reset. Let's look at the chase grid. This is what it looks like here. We got Kurt Busch, Kyle Busch, Edwards, Harvick, Jimmy, Paul, Menard, Ryan Newman, and me. So there's our top eight. Those are the seven other drivers we had to look around. And uh, to show you the race settings and everything, uh, auto plus two difficulty, 50% race length, and times two wear, all flags on all. And uh, last race we did the, uh, I think it was the Bubba Burger car. And uh, this one we're going with uh, the Weaver Media one, which is like this silver type of scheme. Looks, looks all right. So, um, Marge feels scary on this game. Um, not, it's better than NASCAR 15s. I'll say that much. But um, without further ado, let's just get into qualifying, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see how that kind of plays out. Here we are on the qualifying menu. Uh, this is the setup we're going with. Basically, it's the only thing I changed. This is the wedge, 48.5 instead of the default at 50. So. Yeah, I normally always kind of have that like a 45.5, but this track is very loose on its own because the car shifts down a third and it just the car gets really wobbly and all that. I think my car is bouncing up and down. I don't know if I'm seeing things, but I'm, <laughs> I don't know what, what that's all about. But anyways, uh, this is what we're going with. So anyways, um, let's just uh, throw down some qualifying laps and see how uh, our lap times are. Um, <laughs> how? <laughs> oh my god, already, already. Lap time of a 19.3, that's actually much better than the one I did. Uh, it took a couple of, <laughs> took quite a while just to get down pit road and repair the car after basically nearly rolling it over after I hit the curb, so that's, uh, Damn, I, I've never had that happen up this game when I, this, that's unbelievable. But, uh, 193 seems alright. I know the AI driver is on auto plus two difficulty. They can run like a 19 second lap time, which is just insane. So, I don't think this is going to be a pull lap by any stretch of the imagination, but maybe we won't start last. That was a great lap. Wow, actually it was a little bit faster that time. I'm shocked. Oh, never mind, never mind, all right. Um, should I just send the results already and just uh, hope for the best? I, I mean, I guess I should. Uh, hopefully we're not last. Let's just, yeah, let's just send the results. Please. 37th, okay, well that's not as bad as I thought, but still. Junior got the poll, I, I guess. I, I don't even know who got the poll. But... Or at least around the inside. That's almost honestly as about as good as I really could have gotten. There's really no way I could have even gotten the pole or even advanced to the next round. So that that's fine. I don't care. It's gonna be a long race, 250 laps. So we just have to work our way up through the field meticulously. Here we are. Let's get this race going. Just see what happens. Hopefully it's not a shit show. Here we go. Get ready. And the green flag's out. We are underway here at Martinsville. Oh, please, I just want to, I just don't want to shit show. I'm just going to just try to play this very cautiously. There's already smoke. Something stupid's happening. But there's not a wreck. We're going to get used to seeing smoke so damn much in this race, at least on the restarts. For some reason, they just don't know how to get through a corner. Smoke is just so over-exaggerated on this game. We already moved up in the P33. I don't know what I did. I guess I just stay on the inside. Eric Jones kind of just... Okay, ooh. Regan Smith. <laughs> did some shady shit to me at Talladega. I don't want him touching me. <laughs> the one thing I'm really concerned with is sometimes the AI drivers will... Kind of just run to the back if you don't go in the corner deep enough. So I'm a little bit concerned about that going into this race. I'm really hoping... I'm kind of backing up the corners just a little bit. Like I'm kind of breaking right around the, the Sprint Cup Series logo sign in the turn one, even though you could probably go a little bit past that. 
I'm just playing it extra cautiously. And as you saw an example right there with uh, the Bendetto, and oh my goodness, what was... I don't know how that... I don't know how he managed to survive all that. But that's, yeah, that's just an example of just something happening. And what is going on up ahead of me? Is there... Is, I don't even know. <laughs> but that's just an example of, of just them running you over like that. So you, you got, got a little... Got a little taste of, of that. Because we're going to gain probably more spots. Every every corner, there's smoke somewhere on this track. <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh my god. There's like three cars that wrecked right in front of me. We somehow dodged. I think poor Chase Elliott got wrecked. That might be a caution. Even if it is, I'm going to stay out. Don't really have to pit or anything. We got like uh, 55 laps on the fuel and everything. So we're going to be good, but... Goodness gracious, and then Regan or whoever Gillen's in that car, I don't even remember. Yeah, Landon Castle, oh my gosh. But every corner, something happened. It's just, oh my goodness. Still better than NASCAR 15, though, as they smack the outside wall. But we're still in 29th. Almost every part of the car has some sort of damage on it. Please, freaking Chris Busher, don't hit me. Oh my gosh, every corner, man, I just, I just... Oh, Brian Scott! Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord! I even still... Oh, Jesus Christ. Even still dive-bombing the shit at that corner, I still got hit from behind. That's insane. Anyways, we're finally clear of all that. There, it seems to be a little bit more calmer up ahead of me, so let me just get into some, some kind of rhythm here. That was a great lap. Oh, boy, your spins, and he flips over! Holy crap! Wow! Is that not... Oh, that's a yellow. Oh my god. Boy, you're flipped at fucking Barnesville. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Okay, so... Um, I'm not going to pit or anything. We still got a lot of laps on the, the fuel. I, I'm staying out. <laughs> god, I can't, I can't get into any freaking rhythm. 25th, around the inside, so that's good. I can't believe Boyer fucking flipped it. What the fuck? This is a shit show. <laughs> and the green flag's back out. We're just gonna get to the inside and almost turn Landon Castle before you even get to the finish line. And there's almost another wreck or something. Landon Castle just drove himself into the outside wall. I took. I, I, oh, ooh, I hate this. The AI's act so. Whoa, my controller fucking died on me. Oh my god. Let me change my fucking batteries. Okay, I'm back. I got my damn batteries. I plugged them in. And everything, nothing's going right for me recording this freaking race. Alright, let's try this again. Jesus. Nothing's going right, alright, for this race. Alright, A to continue. Okay, let's get, okay. Looking at my surroundings, alright. Alright, let's get this back going again. Oh god. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on in this race, really. This, this is definitely a shit show. I was just about to mention that the AIs do just... not I mean, they're not as bunched up as, like, the NASCAR 15 races or anything from the Atenics, but th if you touch them, like, get exiting, like, turn two, they will wreck themselves going into turn three, and it makes no sense. It's, it's the same shit that happened in uh, Dirt Today Tunnel with stuff like that. And it's really, really bad here. And also, there's obviously so much smoke. And as you saw, it seems like the AI drivers are extra derpy today. I did a practice session before I recorded this race. And I basically nearly got a full, uh, not a full race, but um, the, only had like two cautions in the race. And one was like 100 laps in. So, like, I'm shot. And I, there was nearly another wreck with freaking Ricky Stenhouse. Oh, my God. How the hell is that not a caution? He like turned, he wrecked in front of the, like, the pack. Well, fuck logic, right? Or somehow in 20th, by the way. Just every corner. Every corner the AI drivers are wrecking, or I'm freaking wrecking someone else. <laughs> that one little touch and Brad just goes flying into the outside wall. Alright, maybe we can actually kind of relax and actually, you know, get in some, you know, normal freaking laps like a, you know, like an actual race, not a shit show. What the fuck is that? God. I, ooh, this game. That is so fucking stupid. The way the car 
like just reacts to shit. Oh my god, well that fucked us up pretty damn bad in terms of arrow. Luckily, this is not a very arrow dependent track, but that just was so stupid. There we go, cleared Harvick finally. It took us a couple of laps just to gain that one position. I think the aero damage and everything that's on the car after wrecking out of the freaking corner like a jackass, pretty much. Um, definitely feels a little bit, I don't know what it is. Actually, might handle better. <laughs> I don't know, but we're gaining spots slowly. We're already up in the 20th. As long as this race plays out normally and we can kind of, you know, get the stupid AI derping when they're all bunched up on a restart out of the way. Um, we should be able to gain track position slowly but surely because I know we have at least an adequate car from what I was practicing off camera uh, for this race and everything. So it should, it, I have good hopes for it. We just have to, you know, not get completely royally screwed over. What the hell is going on? And I don't even, I can't, my brain can't process anything. I almost nearly wrecked Jimmy. I get, I gained the spot. Boyer's just chilling in the track. Jimmy retaliates. I don't blame him. I, <laughs> God, this, it, my, I don't, like, I got no excuse for my stupidity right now. Just, like, it's like, like, what, 3 a.m.? But this is, like, that's nothing new for me. That's, like, the afternoon for me. So, like, I don't know what's going on. I just, this track, there's just, there's sometimes there's just a lot of random shit that happens and I just can't can't just I can't even begin to process it. Finally passed Jimmy for that position. We're in P18. We're slowly but surely working our way up through the field. And yeah, it's just nice to actually get in some calm racing here. I'm just gonna try to throw in some hot laps and try to run down Chase. I know we have a car to to, to win this race. We just really gotta you know hit our marks here and you know take advantage of this um, green flag run to our best advantage. A really good runoff of four. We're side by side with Kurt Busch. There's smoke up ahead of me uh, for like the what 100th time and 101st time with me now. Clear Kurt Busch now up in the P17. We're kind of gaining on the leader just a little bit. The gap keeps going from like 8.8 .8 and then it keeps shrinking just a little bit. So we're surprisingly gaining on the leader despite being this far back in the field. Clear low. Car low. Well, fuck you, Kurt.
still there. Oh yeah, take that spot back, Kurt. Can't believe he just bumped him, you son of a bitch! And he's gonna wreck himself. What a jackass. God. This <laughs> is getting dumbass. Really did a run off of turn four. We're side by side with Almendinger for 16th. We're trying to get by him. We hit the curb. We're sideways. We're still side by side with him. And you see Kurt push up ahead of me. He, I, I don't even know if I can even count it as him wrecking me or I wrecked him. Because he kind of just drove in the back of me and wrecked himself. But he's right there. And Omendinger kind of gets the spot back. And Jimmy's going to take advantage of my mistake. And he's going to go underneath me. And now we make contact. I'm sliding sideways. And I drop back into P18. Pretty uh, hell of a battle back here. Just not been able to really go anywhere too quickly. But it's been... You know, very, uh, very, uh, challenging. Car hit a spinning. Hmm. That's interesting. A lot of people are heading down Pier Road already, and we have, like, a good nine, uh, nine extra laps on the fuel, so... Feels like it's a little bit too early to pit. So I don't know when I should. I think I'll try to pit with maybe, uh, four laps remaining on the fuel tank, so in a couple more laps, and then I'll pit. So... Yeah, really got nothing to lose by staying out because we could, you know, cheat the system and get a caution lap, you know, trap people lap down. So you never know. Heading down Pier Road this lap, uh, really, so I'm kind of shocked. A lot of cars are, just, they were going really slow down Pier Road. I think it's just because so many went down at the same time or something. But slow down, 30 miles an hour. We get down there just fine. I'm going to, you know, get four tires and repair the damage. So that might take quite a long time, but... We need to. The car is pretty damn beat up. Doesn't look like it, but I guess it is. Wow, a tenth faster than the estimated time. Well, we're out in the way. The car is fully repaired, and surprisingly, we're going to gain a couple spots compared to where we were. Which is about 17th or 18th, so um, despite all that, we gained three spots. <laughs> that is um, that's truly incredible. Boyer, who freaking flipped earlier in this race, is still chugging along and all that but he, I don't even know where he's at but um yeah so I think as long as we bite our time and uh you know not fuck up Boyer's 39th <laughs> god this car I can't stand the physics in this game I'm scared Boyer's gonna run me over he freaking does like a jackass thank you Boyer and surprisingly I didn't get my back bumper damage but so we got Biffle and Ryan Blaney head down here I think they might have been the few that uh, pitted when that very very first caution came out so there's that, and we're in P14 now. Now we just got to really worry about uh, trying to catch Brad and try to get other spots as we can as we just rub, 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 <laughs> rub up against Boyer and get, try to get the, him out of the hell out of my freaking way. And we do just that, really no problem. And uh, yeah, let's, let's just run down uh, Brad Kozlowski for 13th. Landon Castle's heading down Pitt Road. Which is interesting. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did, considering Ryan Blaney and somebody else hit it a couple laps before, but that's another extra spot, and we move up into P11. Brad is right in front of us. We try to get to the inside of him, and we do. Who is in ninth? And that's Newman, 2.6 seconds up the road. So it might be some time before we catch him, but we clear and well, clear and pass Brad. They're, they're, they're two different, well, two of the same words essentially but we move up into the top 10 which is pretty damn good Stay low. Still there. come on fuck so st mm. what the fuck was what was that did he just he instant transmission Look at that, Michael McDowell in ninth place. Good run for him. Uh, I think he was eighth, but Newman got around him, so... All right, well, I don't know what the caution came out for. It could have been for Stenhouse. That was a lapse ago, so that had to have been something else, but... Uh, Dale Jr. the leader, McMurray second, Trevor Bain third, wow. And Almirola seventh. Uh, we did just pit not too long ago, so we don't... I don't want to pit. I don't want to freaking risk 
of being stuck in the back there, even if it's as far back as 25th. So I'm, I'm not going to pit. I'm just going to stay out just like everyone else. Still got quite, uh, quite a ways on the fuel, so just going to stay out. And the green flag's back out again, and we're in 10th, and somebody didn't go. It almost looked like McMurray just kind of stalled. It might have been in my imagination, but let's just please just avoid all the stupidity. I don't even know where to even go, because I'm afraid I'm going to get runned over. So I'm just going to just take the outside lane here at Martinsville and pass people that way, because you know, that's the, this is the best. Oh, my God. It, oh, Eric Jones. It's the best. I'm going to get runned over by Brad. Jackass. God, I can't stand that. So, ooh. <laughs> that was just, I don't even know what that was. I don't even know where to go. Like, am I supposed to be on the outsides? And Brad, you saw that. that was my fault, but damn, that's it. Brad's just been on my hit list today or something. Kyle Busch almost tried to do the same thing that his brother did earlier in the race. We're still side by side. Maybe we can clear him and then kind of chill. These restarts are just insane. Let's try to get a good run off four. We clear them and we get the spot. For the love of God, Kyle, do not die bomb the shit out of this corner and wreck me. Thank you. And uh, I guess we can kind of chill. McMurray dropped like a rock though on that restart though. He was like second. He's already back to ninth, so that's interesting. So clear McMurray. We're up in the P9. Junior, the the leader. I, only, I think it was on the pole. Somebody tried wrecking him. No, that was Trevor. No, that was Dale Jr. wrecking, trying to wreck Trevor Bain, I think. Oh, my God. I can't, ooh, these fucking physics, I tell you. They're just this, this track. Something about it's not right. We clear Danica, and we move up back into the top ten. Carlo. All clear. Really good run of a forward slap by South McMurray for the eighth position. We drift up the track. We try to diamond it. It, it worked. Can we clear him? Yes, we do. We move up into P9. Trevor Bain is the race leader with Casey Kane second, Almarola in third. Um, two of those three are very peculiar top three. I can at least say that. Ooh, those fucking curbs. Oh my god. No, no, no. Okay. God damn. Oh, lordy. Well, back to P14. That, that kind of stings a little bit. Worked our way up into the top 10, and that little incident kind of screwed me. Really, nobody's fault but my own. Carlo. Kevin Harvick, I'm gonna kill you. Like, I already hate you enough in real life as it is. He just freaking, he, he just sailed it in that corner and he just completely just ran me over, you piece of shit. Ooh, I'm not gonna give you any room going in this corner. Just go up the track. Just go up the track, Harvick. Just, just kiss my ass. Cool paint scheme. Not gonna lie, that's, you know, it's good to have your sponsors in the, you know, NASCAR game, but Harvick kiss my ass. There we go, we clear him. Let's get our sights on Brad Kozlowski. Fucking god, I can't, ooh. I can't, I keep making stupid fucking mistakes. And god damn it, Austin Dillon. This, ooh, what a shit show. What a fucking shit show this is. Oh. Alright, well, back to 14th. Fuck. God damn, it's, ooh. Get a little, get a little, get a little salty. Got to the inside of Kyle Busch for 13th. Ryan Ellis is for an actual position. I thought he was just a lap down holding Kyle Busch up, but no, he is for a legit position as we just like completely, 
I don't even know what that was as we clear Kyle Busch. <laughs> but we move up into 13th. Now we're sights on Ryan Ellis. Again, I keep saying we have the car to win. I know we do. It just, I got to minimize those mistakes and not freaking get the, the physics of the car all ass backwards or whatever the car does. A lot of weird shit. This, this, this car handles so, so weird at this track. It just not, it just does not feel like driving Martinsville. Still there? There we go, cleared Brad, move up in the P12. Ryan Ellis is actually gaining spots, so that's something impressive as we just completely dive on the crap out of corner. Thankfully, nothing dumb happened out of it. The frame rates dropped pretty drastically, so something stupid must happen. But it's okay. Danica Patrick in the top 10, by the way. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this race anymore. Wow, Ooh. wow, damn, we almost hit Ryan Ellis. We get to the inside of him, there's more smoke. We're gonna try to clear him. Joey Logano's heading down pit road, I think. A lot of people are pitting really early. I mean, it's like 15 laps in the fuel tank. Ryan Ellis! Stop hitting me. Okay. Well, a lot of people pitted. There's still a lot of laps left on the fuel tank, so... I don't know why they're pitting so soon. Um, I don't know what the hell. Did you see that? Michael McDowell just blew a tire and hit the outside wall, I guess. Um, alright, we got a yellow. Uh, we're gonna pit anyways. Danica Patrick's apparently the only person on the lead lap, alright. You know what, we gotta have Danica win somehow. Gonna pit, four tires, repair damage. And we'll see where we where we are. I don't know, the field door is all glitched out apparently. Well, um, we're seventh. We somehow lost four spots. Actually, makes sense, but yeah. Alright, whatever. <laughs> And the green flag's back out, we're underway, and we get a really good restart. Ryan Ellis just stops on the start, so I guess he just wanted to give me that position. Please don't ass ram me. Thank you. And I think Bobby Labonte's the race leader. This top five makes no sense. I'm actually a little bit confused. Ryan Blaney kind of makes sense. Oh, Ryan Ellis, I swear to God. It's like the second time you've ass rammed me. Okay. Well... I don't know what the caution came out for. It couldn't have been for Michael McDowell, because normally it always takes like two cars to trigger a caution in this game. So if it came out just because there was a one car incident, then that's a little bit bullshit for this game standards. Eric Jones in fourth. I don't know what's going on. All this whole field orders all messed up because it was apparently during pit cycles. So um, it's it's a big jumbled mess. I guess Bobby Labonte's the race leader. Look at I'm rolling, make a move to go for the lead. And he takes it. He's going to lead this race. Yeah, I'm okay. Bobby Labonte really is second. <laughs> what a weird top three this is. Still there? Still there? Clear low. Car low. Oof. Barely got by Danica. Now we're in P3. Bobby Labonte's dropping a little bit. He's giving me the bottom lane, so thank him very much. Try to get a good run off turn two. We're side by side. We get a, always get a really good run exiting turn four, so that's really our best corner to try to take advantage of gaining a track position, and we do just that. We move up in the P2, and now we just have to run down Eric Almirola, which I'm very confident we'll be able to do. Don't you do it, NASCAR Heat. Let me get the lead first. Oh! I don't even know if we led that lap. But we're going to try to clear him off turn two. And I think we do. All right. We get the lead. The game really tried to screw me over somehow. But it didn't work. Move up into P1. Let's pull away. It's very nice to lead some laps. We got 100 and what? 112 laps to go. Let's, uh... I don't know. Let's just, uh... Just kick some ass. Carlo. Still there? 
Damn, Jimmy just drove right around me. He must have pitted or something, because, I mean, there's... I mean, he just completely just ran over me. Not really, but he just drove right around me. Brad's doing the same thing, so I guess they're trying to get their lap back. I am a little bit on older tires, so I guess that could explain it, but... Yeah, they just, <laughs> just drove right around me. A couple of us went by. Really nothing too much to, uh, to know. A couple of cars have passed me, like, you know, Jimmy and Brad and Truex as well. Also being a little bit mirrored in traffic, but it's not really affecting us too horribly. We still have a lot of laps left until we have to pit. Maybe a good another 26 laps or so. But as of right now, just chilling. The uh, lap down cars haven't really been uh, opposing a problem, except for the people that, you know, uh, got around me because they do have way, way fresher tires because I'm assuming they just pitted. But everybody else is concerned. They really have not given me any sort of problems as I completely botched that corner. <laughs> I'm on lap 170. Just thinking about strategy. Um, I know we can make it about 59 to 60 laps on a tank of fuel, so we're definitely going to pit on lap 191 going into 192. We have about 21 laps of fuel, so we'll be right at the very end of our fuel run, at least for us. So that's the plan. If we do it just like that, we'll only have to make one more pit stop. So this is a kind of a, a, an ingenious strategy that I just magically kind of landed myself upon. So. Just hoping this race plays out, and we'll be one uh, hit cycle ahead of everyone, pretty much, if this all goes according to plan. If you didn't see, there's a lot of cars down pit road, which is good news for me, because no matter what, they're going to have to pit around maybe uh, maybe around lap 120-something, considering they always seem to be pitting 10 laps earlier than what they should, so yeah, they're... There, there's no way they're gonna make it on one more stop, so we we are in the best possible uh, scenario right now. Starting lap 191, pitting this lap no matter what. This car just it handles fine. It's I'm I'm glad. Larson, just get by me. Okay. All right, head down pit road this time by 30 miles an hour. And uh, four tires and fuel repair the damage. I don't think really got that much damage in that fuel run, but anyways, we're gonna do that just to be safe. So. We'll just see uh, how this plays out. Out in the way, and we're still green, so that's good. And we're <laughs> still in first by a pretty damn big amount. Can we, Tre Trevor Bain, what are you doing? Um, dude, we got a really big lead, so I don't know. Let's just see how many people I guess we can lap. Yellow's out. Oh my god, we just pitted. And we're just going to make it on fuel, so I'm not going to really t worry about this too much. Just sucks, because I think if everything played out, we would just be fine. But we only go back as far as 10th, but we don't. We have no reason to pit. We just did, and we're fine on fuel, so. Well, we're right in the bubble, so. Um, yeah, well, um, I'm not going to pit, no. I don't want to freaking risk uh, having the pit crew fuck up and making us lose, like, 10 spots. Get set. The race is going green. Green flag's back out. We have 49 laps to go. 56, what, on the fuel tank? That doesn't make any sense. There's no way we save like 10 laps of fuel. <laughs> or f no, actually, no. Okay, never mind. So we actually kind of somehow managed to save fuel. So we, as of right now, we're completely good to go on fuel. I thought we would be kind of close still, but uh, no, as you see, we're like seven laps of the goods. So as long as we hit our marks, we'll just pull away and win this race. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. I, I want to chase win. I don't want to worry about any other race, so I'll gladly take this. I just want this race to kind of finish out. Oh my god, no. I don't need to pit. Like, that That lead we had was such a big gap, though. There's only 11 cars on lead lap. I could pit, but I'm not going to risk that. I want track position as much as logic negates staying out at Martinsville on old tires. We're, this is working out just fine. Not pitting. Almirola is, so maybe it'll work out for him. And the green flag's back out. We're battling with freaking Eric Jones for the win here, apparently. But 26 laps to go. Really, I wasn't talking a whole lot early in that 
big chunk with like 48 laps to go, there really was nothing to say. I mean, I was pulling away and just really nothing going on. Newman was ahead of me, if you saw, so if you're curious about that, he got into some sort of wreck. I don't know what happened, but he got that far back. But I couldn't really pass him or really do anything. That was really the only thing that happened in that part, and I really didn't even know. I didn't even really see the wreck. I just saw smoke and the frame race drop again, so something stupid's happening in the back. But, you yeah, know, you heard the crew chief, but, uh, yeah, we're just pulling away again. Yellow's out. Um, cautions, Bree, cautions. I, I, again, I'm not gonna pit. We're still fine, so. Brad's pitting, I'm Rolls pitting again. But, yeah, alright, well, let's, uh, just pull, just do this all over again. And the green flag's back out. Uh, pulling away from McMurray already. Just gonna get through this corner just fine. And we do. Get off turn two. Alright, we're good to go. Now let's just pull away from everybody yet again. It's pretty ridiculous in like a span of two laps. I've already pulled away to about a good second on McMurray. Just... The speed of this car is pretty damn good. I like it. Trouble in turn two. Oh lord, please. This game, please. Just let me let me finish this race. What the hell is this, Mears? What the fuck? That was stupid. What is the That is so bad. That is so bad with the freaking cautions. That like that's ridiculous. Well, I'm sure Mira's probably murdered someone just by chilling in the racetrack. There's a wreck in turn four. Oh my god, can the wrecking stop? This is such a shit show. No, there's no wreck. What is the crew chief talking about? Four laps to go into the race, still pulling away from uh, Truex who took over the second place over... I don't even know who was the second, I think McMurray. Um, been just cruising, pulling away, random smoke here and there, but nothing out of the ordinary for this game, but uh... Yeah, just cruising on home. Last lap. Off of turn number four, we are going to punch our ticket to Homestead. We win at Martinsville. Yes. Oh, thank the good Lord. Nothing stupid happened. Well, a lot of stupid happened, but nothing that I got involved with too heavily, but that was good shit. Pretty good. <laughs> that was good. Oh my gosh. Thankfully, we... That's just... It's just with a doctor order. Alright, well, let's just see the results and see where everybody finished. I'm just kind of curious, because Shurex was second. Somebody else was... I don't know. Top 10's all weird. Eric Jones, 7th. Um, yeah, top 10's all messed up. Very Bobby Labonte 11th. I, I don't know, that's just a very wonky top 10. Ken's at 37th, I don't know what happened to him. Um, yeah, weird, weird top 10. <laughs> Only 13 people on a lead lap. Uh, let's check out the chase and see where everybody else is at. With our win, we obviously advance. And Newman, I guess, is one point out. So, the points battle actually is pretty damn tight still from, uh, Basically, third to the eighth. Edwards actually has an 11-point cushion, which is pretty good. But, yeah, we, we advanced. We don't have anything to worry about. So, we won the first round. Uh, or, we won the first race in the second round. And now we won the first race in the third round. So, that's our second chase win so, of this thing. So, that's good. Check out the uh, the trophy we're going to get. Nice grandfather clock. That's cute. And let's just check out the, uh, the whatever. Jimmy Johnson, 18-9. Oh my god, that's insane. Yeah, we led the most of us 118. I didn't think we led that much. Holy crap. And uh, we went from 37 to first, so we were on the move. Who was the tough break award? Um, Matt Kenseth, fourth to 37th. Don't know. I know what happened to him, but I don't know what exactly happened. I don't, I'm tired. <laughs>
All right, let's just get out of here. Next race will be at Texas, and if uh, Chicagoland and Kansas were anything to base things off of, um, it's uh, going to be another, I should say, slaughter fest. So it's going to be good. I'm going to enjoy uh, listening to my JoJo music for that because nothing's going to happen in that race. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty calm for Texas. So there's the top whatever. Um, I don't know. What's the paid ski for the next race? It's this this car, okay. Well, no, that's normal. Normal looking for the most part. Well, anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you stuck around, like I always say, I do appreciate love, feedback, and the support. All you guys give me in the comment section below, and as well as liking the video, because it helps me out a lot in the long run. I'll see you all for the race at Texas. And as always, have a good day, everyone.